Hello and welcome to Infinity. I'm going to do a small world picture which turns this cityscape, which is a classic thing to do, into looking like it's in a little planet. Uh, there are quite a few other videos like this, but I've added a few tips and wrinkles along the way, I think, to make this a little bit easier. So the first thing we're going to do, because we've got these X's around the outside because the picture's locked, we go along to the padlock there, click there, and now this lets us manipulate this more. We're going to go first of all to the crop tool and what we're doing is because the outside edges are going to kind of be glued to each other in a circle we need to make this as easy as possible so that little white thing there i'm just going to move this in a bit so it's a better edge to crop together so I click together so they're fairly similar but there are different levels now so to get those level i'm just going to go to the move tool make sure i've got the ruler up here via the view and set the ruler on there and just click in there and drag down I get this line, the blue line. It's not part of the picture, it's a guideline. So I'm going to put it so it, it matches the horizon there and I just need to match the horizon here. And this, that little bit sticking out there, that's because it was where the picture we cropped. So document and flatten. So that's flattened that out to there. But now we want to pull that little bit down there just to level it up. So go to perspective tool here and drag the corner down so that the horizon there is on that blue line, same as over here. Then apply that and that will now fit that in. Next trick is to, because we want to blend these in so you've got a seamless, what goes on here comes on here and fits nicely. So I need to go to Filters, Distort, and go to Affine. And one of the things that Affine does, so I go to the Offset X there, just roll the mouse wheel to move it across. You can see immediately here, what's came off here is coming onto here, and we need to sort of basically make this disappear here in the sky. You can play with these a bit down here, but the main thing is the sky. So one of the things I'm going to do with this is quickly use the select brush just to select the building areas here so that I just need this corner so that I don't accidentally paint into the buildings by doing this. So I use the alt key to remove the selection. There we go. And anything else up here. There we go. And we can do a quick refine on this as well, just to make sure it's all OK. That looks right, doesn't it? So we'll just apply that. Now then, I need to copy into here to smooth this out. So I'm going to go over here to start off with and right square bracket to make this a little bit bigger here. And go to the clone brush here and opacity 100% and hardness down. We could do this on a new layer, but you know, it's it, it's probably okay here because if you do a new layer, then you're going to want to blend it in afterwards anyway. So I'm going to go on here and see, going over here, see it's not painting on the building. That's what that selection did. So, so I blended this into here and a soft brush. You can even do it with just dabs. See here, I'm, I'm starting to copy things in from over there. So I need to find a bit of a bit lower down here. So let's alt click from here and just click onto there. Click onto there, check each time they're doing some buildings. Control Z there because I actually started doing buildings. And maybe I'll bring this down a bit. See, this is a bit of a, a little bit of a faff. But I'll actually just take some from up here and paint that in there. So you've got that blend across there. So Control D, don't need that anymore. Down here, further down, I can just blur this. If I use the blur brush and just paint down there, that will just sort of blend that in there, even though it looks you know kind of an obvious overlap here it actually won't matter that much once we get to the end so control zero i've still got that line across there let's get rid of it move tool grab the blue line and just drag it out back to the ruler now then i'm going to start turning this now 
into a circle. And for this, I go to Filters, Distort, and Rectangular to Polar. But now look, this is the wrong way around. So I can undo that. So you've got the sky in the middle. I want the sky on the outside. So I've got to flip this. Document, Rotate, Document, Rotate to flip it that way around or some other way. And now do that again. Filters, Distort and Rectangular to Polar. And here you go. Here's got our planet, but it's, it's, it's squished a bit. We want to turn this into a nice circle. So to help us with this, we'll go to the Ellipse tool here. And we've got the snapping set here, so we can snap there onto the middle of the picture with those red and green lines. Control shift and drag this will draw that outwards. So I got that ellipse out there. Now then I select the pixel layer under here, the move tool, and I can drag these inwards here so they snap against that circle. There, got that. Don't need that circle anymore. Delete it. And there we see our small world. Get rid of the bits on the outside, document and clip canvas. And here we're pretty much getting close to the end. You notice on the corners there you've got a bit of a sort of like rays going out. So we can either um, get rid of that or we can mask a circle onto it or we can paint onto that. First of all though we'll use the move tool, go to the edge so I've got the rotating cursor and I'll decide which one I want on top. Let's put that building there on top. And now I'm going to paint into here to paint these away. So first of all, I'll use the color picker here to pick a color. And I want the fairly dark color here near the edge. So I'll click on, let's say the darker ones down here. Then I'm going to get the paintbrush tool and make that a little bit smaller, but very still opacity up, hardness down, and just paint around the edge here to fill that in there. We're getting this just nicely around the outside. And you can just, you can play around with that, but that gives you, there we go, our finished small world. And uh, there's lots of other things you could do. You could put in a little sun up here or something and do some shadows and things. And as you'll see now with the inside there, even though there was a bit of mismatch going on, because it's squeezed in so much, it actually doesn't look so bad. We've got roads and things like this here, but it looks so fine. Okay, I'm fine. So, and also, because I've got this outside thing here, I can just document flatten again, and now it's just nice and square. And there we go. So what other things have I done like this? You could do it something like this. For this, uh, you just get the move tool here. You drag down to the edge here. So that's touching the top. And where does it go here? Because this bit done here, you're not going to need. So we'll unlock it, or even sorry, the crop, and just crop it inwards to the point where that blue line matches the top there and apply that. And we can move this in here. Do all the other things and you're going to get to somewhere like this. The other puzzle this one's got, if you look into the center here, we've got these lot of these radial odd lines here. So again, it's just a little paint job on top. So use the colour picker to pick a colour from in here you like, maybe a lighter one here. Go to the paintbrush tool here and we want to use that colour. And sometimes here, actually a softer brush. So reduce, turn the hardness, sorry, it's a harder edged brush. So up a bit and then reduce the size here. And now you can just paint in here to fill that up there, or you can do it on a separate layer and you can blend it in a little bit here. I'm doing it just directly onto there, so you got that in there. Now it's not quite right, is it? So let's put in another layer, add a pixel layer, paint onto here as we did before. That's fairly quick, and we can now adjust the opacity or the blend mode so that it just kind of like there's a bit of texture within that. There we go. And you can even do it to interesting pictures like this. In which case you end up with something like this. So here we've got the green as the center bit. 
here and we've got this round here what you can do with this is go to filters and distort and use the lens distortion and now if i pull this out here see it's just pushing that out like that and you end up with a picture like that you're losing bits around the outside here so what i do first of all is zoom out a bit use the crop tool and extend that out a bit more so you just got a bit of extra space in here this is increasing the size of the canvas apply that now then when you do the filters distort and lens distortion and distort this out so it's staying within this expanded canvas so you can go up to the position you want that and to fill in those bits around the outside go to edit matte and make sure it's white and it'll just fill that in and apply that and there we go okay that's about enough there's a small world and various ways that you can do some new techniques for it as well thank you very much for watching